and good Thursday evening to you. We've got a lot to talk about on Weather for Weather Geeks this evening as we gear up for the holiday weekend. The weather will certainly quiet down by Saturday afternoon, but until then, we still have some showers to contend with and a changeable forecast for tonight. We'll get to all those details momentarily. It was not a hot day today. Temperatures this afternoon just peaked in the mid-70s, but it has been increasingly humid and uh, dew points, something we used to measure the comfort level of the year as we get into the warm weather season and at our latitude and our location generally speaking once we get into the 60s that's once those dew points get into the 60s that's when most of us start to notice it feels kind of muggy kind of uncomfortable outside dew points this morning still in the relatively comfortable 50s but by this afternoon they kind of level off in the mid 60s now at times during midsummer especially we have dew points in the mid 70s so this is not, uh, you know, as muggy as it gets around here by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, it definitely has been a noticeable change compared to just 12 hours or so ago. All right, uh, clouds, occasional sunshine today. The clouds did us some favors today in that they helped to stabilize the atmosphere, not only here locally, but in most of our region. That has partly uh, reduced, it's part of the reason why I should say it's kind of reduced our severe weather chances for this evening and overnight tonight. The big weather feature on the map this evening, we can easily see it on the water vapor imagery. It's this circular area here. It's a big upper level low pressure system moving through the Ozarks and heading through the mid Mississippi Valley. Plume of rich moisture coming east of that low pressure system and where ingredients are just right, while we do have a pretty good severe weather threat ongoing down across western parts of the Carolinas. We've had a couple of uh, tornado warnings in Kentucky and far southern Ohio. Uh, this evening and a couple of tornado warnings also out into parts of Indiana. Closer to home as of this recording at 702, we've had a couple of showers, but no severe weather certainly. This band out here looks to be pretty much no big deal. There's been no warnings along it. There's not even much lightning and thunder with it, just a brief gust of wind near the I-71 corridor. Overall, the severe weather risk has decreased compared to what it looks like 24 hours ago. So SPC, the Storm Prediction Center, did trim that level two or slight, <coughs> pardon me, slight risk of severe weather trimmed it west, got our viewing area out of that, uh, and uh, certainly kind of reflecting some of the some of the trends over the last 12 to 24 hours with a more stable atmosphere in our neck of the woods. Now, when we talk about an unstable atmosphere, basically that means the ability for air parcels to rise and keep rising. You want air parcels, warm air parcels, to rise and encounter increasingly cold air aloft. So those warm air parcels are warmer, more buoyant than the surrounding air, and that helps them uh, to keep on rising. When the air aloft is a little too warm, those air parcels have a harder time continuing to rise and forming bigger and taller clouds and thunderstorms. So our instability has been fairly meager. Again, we didn't have a tremendous amount of daytime heating today, and that helped us out in the instability department. Now, that being said, it is going to rain tonight in most of the area. Most of this will come after midnight tonight. Could you hear some thunder overnight? Sure, especially once we get past 1 or 2 in the morning. Some tropical downpours will be a possibility here and there. Most importantly for those heading off to work in the morning, a couple of showers may linger through maybe 7 or 8 a.m. at the latest. After that, I think we see a drying trend for the rest of the morning on Friday. So our, our threats... Uh, have some of them have gone up some have gone down with regards to our overnight showers and storms the threat for damaging winds kind of a repeat of what we had saturday that's gone down um with the later arrival time of the rain tonight the more stable atmosphere what's gone up somewhat is the risk of tropical downpours now as a region-wide average i don't think we're looking at more than a half an inch to three quarters of an inch as a region-wide average but could someone get an inch to an inch and a half of rain tonight i can't rule that out uh, some of these downpours you know, they'll be pretty uh, pretty hefty in some parts of the region. So, especially in traditional flood-prone areas, there might be some isolated issues with high water later on tonight. Now, as we get into the daylight hours on Friday, our uh, overnight round of rain pushes east. We're into this dry slot for a good chunk of the morning and even into the midday hours. I think the sun's going to try to come out. But as we get into the afternoon, uh, the atmosphere will destabilize. That big upper level low, which is out towards Missouri right now, is going to actually swing almost right overhead tomorrow afternoon so lots of cold air aloft tomorrow afternoon and we'll probably see some showers and some storms kind of re-emerging in this uh, favorable environment 
and while severe weather in terms of damaging winds is very unlikely tomorrow afternoon, a tropical downpour, some vivid lightning, maybe even some small hail, I think is something that can't quite be ruled out tomorrow afternoon. And as we've been talking about as we head towards the weekend, the last of the shower activity is pretty early in the day Saturday, most likely before 8 or 9 a.m. After that, all systems are go for a fantastic holiday weekend with a clear sky and a beautiful evening Saturday evening, clear sky Saturday night, just a few fair weather clouds in the mix on Sunday. So our Memorial Day holiday weekend forecast has not changed much over the last couple of days. A shower early Saturday. Now Saturday, easily the coolest day of the three with a high of about 70. We'll tack on almost a dozen degrees on Sunday. Good weekend to open up that pool if you haven't done so already because it's going to be pretty hot outside by Memorial Day. 86. Now the dew points won't be especially high just yet on Memorial Day. I think those dew points will try to return to the 60s by the middle of next week. Compared to recent Memorial Days, how will this year sh uh, stack up? We are expecting mid-80s on, on Monday. Not as hot as 2020 and the hottest Memorial Day on record, which was just four years ago, back in 2018 when it was 92. This year, uh, kind of dissimilar to m most of our recent Memorial Days in that it's kind of somewhere in between. Not super hot, but also not kind of cool like we had last year. Last year's high was just 71 on Memorial Day, a little bit cooler than average. So we haven't had a high in the mid 80s really in at least five years. And uh, the coolest high temperature on record for Memorial Day back in 1996. I remember that one because uh, I graduated high school that week and that whole week was kind of damp and chilly and not very nice for graduation parties and the trip to Cedar Point and all that fun stuff for the uh, tail end of your senior year. Uh, late May was not particularly nice in Eastern Ohio for those sorts of things back in 1996. All right, make sure you're uh, following me on social media tonight. I'll keep you apprised of the latest on the radar and what's going to happen as we head through the overnight and into Friday. Uh, don't sleep on the threat for a couple of uh, loud storms Friday afternoon. Keep that in mind if you have after work and after school plans on Friday. We'll keep uh, you updated on that on all of our venues, including the Storm Tracker 21 app. Thanks for watching tonight and have a great rest of your Thursday night.